Norman Bettison has always denied being part of a police cover-up designed to blame the fans, but now he's angered the victims' families by publishing Hillsborough Untold, in which he describes the personal impact on him of what he calls an inaccurate and unfair narrative. He writes that an early police account of Hillsborough that he was involved in collating was hopelessly incomplete and insufficient, but says it was no conspiracy and that he has to defend himself. I go to great lengths to demonstrate the empathy that I have for the, uh, for the, for the families who've, who've struggled against false narratives for, uh, for, for 27 years. Setting the story straight, wouldn't any of us, wouldn't you actually care if people were saying things about you that weren't true. Only a few months ago an inquest ruled that the 96 Hillsborough victims were unlawfully killed and in the new year a decision is due on whether anyone should face criminal charges over the disaster and its aftermath. So for people like Steve Kelly who lost his brother Michael in the crush at Hillsborough the book is an insult. The title of the book Hillsborough Unsold Hills has been told many, many times, and Mr. Betterson now sees to see himself as some sort of a victim in this. The timing of it now, I know this is in bad taste. It, it could have waited till after um, the new year to, till for the book to come out. And such is the strength of feeling across Liverpool that few bookshops, if any, are expected to stock Sir Norman's account of events. We're certainly not going to be stocking it. Um, I think. It's important for people to remember that Liverpool, that the verdicts at the Hillsborough inquest would not have been achieved without the people of Liverpool sticking together. Norman Bettison has said he wants to amplify the Hillsborough tragedy, not detract from it, and that the proceeds from his book will go to charity. Peter Lane, 5 News.